Hi YouTube friends and family, it's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. How is everybody doing today? Today's video is about the carnivore diet and periodontal disease. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for future videos. I hope I said periodontal disease, okay? Um, or the pronunciation police will be after me. So first of all, the carnivore diet is a diet that consists of basically eating meat, drinking water when you're hungry, and you're not counting any calories. You're basically eating until you are full. Periodontal disease is also known as gum disease. The symptoms of gum disease or periodontal disease is swollen, red, painful, or even bleeding gums. The complications are tooth loss and also gum loss. The cause is bacteria related to plaque buildup. Okay, so backtracking a little bit, this video is about the relationship between the carnivore diet and periodontal disease. I was diagnosed with gum disease, and I'll just refer to periodontal disease as gum disease moving forward. I was diagnosed with gum disease 20 years ago by my dentist, and I was told at the time that my gum disease could not get any better. However, the goal was, the dentist's goal and my goal at the time was that it, for it to not get any worse. That's what I was told by my dentist. We can only not make this get any worse. Uh, my dentist gave me a treatment plan, which was coming for regular deep cleanings every three months. I was told that I should brush after every meal. I was told to floss. I hate flossing, but I did try my best to floss regularly. So because I hated flossing so much, I actually came up with my own little treatment plan at home and I started doing oil pulling. I did a video on oil pulling, so I'm not gonna get into that, but I'll link it down below. And I also started to use a water pick. And a water pick, oh my gosh, I love, love my water pick. Water pick is basically a uh, electronic flosser. Uh, you put it in your mouth, it has a head on it, and it basically splashes water between your teeth and it basically gets um, what, your, what your regular flosser missed and also what your uh, toothbrush missed. And I remember the first time I used a flosser, um, a water pick, uh, I remember looking in a sink and I couldn't believe the amount of food that I had missed and that was actually now in the sink. It was unbelievable. And I know the people out there that use a water pick know exactly what I'm talking about. So the 12,000 subscribers are watching and hello to the new subscribers. As many of you know, I've been on a carnivore journey um, for about a year. I did it for about a year. I experimented for about a year. I'm not doing it now. Um, and I told you in my videos about all of the benefits that I experienced with carnivore diet. But one of the benefits I didn't tell you was the connection between the carnivore diet and my gum disease. And I didn't tell you that at the time um, there was improvement. Um, and I really didn't link it until after. And I do have to mention here that I did end up quitting the carnivore diet because I could not, um, I just couldn't eat meat every single day. Um, I love my food, I'm a foodie and I was also getting really wicked sugar cravings. So I know that's not an excuse. Um, the excuse is basically, you know what? I'm not gonna make any excuses. I just didn't want to eat meat every single day. Um, I didn't want to do it as a lifestyle and that's why I quit. So now for the link between the um, gum disease improvement and um, carnivore diet, I noticed a marked improvement around the two month mark. And I even blogged about this on my blog. Okay, so you're wondering, how do I know that the carnivore diet improved my gum disease? Well, 
I switched dentists. And as I said to you guys in the beginning, I was diagnosed with this gum disease for 20 years now. I have not just been to one dentist. I've been to multiple dentists during my 20 year journey with this gum disease. And what I did was a few months back, I actually switched dentists. And um, I went in there basically not telling my dentist, my new dentist, of my history. And I basically just told the dentist that I had a disagreement with my previous dentist. So I did not want to go back. And um, I told them that I didn't really want my um, file to be taken from my old dentist. And could we start fresh? So I did tell my dentist about my history. I didn't tell this new dentist about my gum disease diagnosis. And when he did the x-rays, I think one of the x-rays was called a pan. And he did a couple bite wing extra, a couple bite wing x-rays, he called them. Um, he looked um, at my bone. He looked at my gums. And um, he said my teeth look great. <laughs> and he didn't mention anything about gum disease. Now, when he was ready to book me for my next appointment, and um, he told me to come in nine months, at that point, I felt I was compelled to tell him that my previous dentist had diagnosed me with a periodontal disease. And he was actually quite surprised, and he said to me that there was no sign of um, gum disease. So what happened to my gum disease? I can honestly only link it to my stint with the carnivore diet because at that period there was an elimination of sugar and I wonder if during that time just not having sugar um, was able to heal my gums. I didn't want to make this video because dentists say that uh, gum disease cannot be cured. But it looks like my gum disease was cured. So, um, yeah, that's why I didn't want to make the video because it's just basically my word and my experience. But I do feel that this should be documented somewhere because I, I know that I could not possibly be the only person that has experienced this. And remember, guys, I have nothing to gain here. Um, I'm no longer doing the carnivore diet. Um, I do not follow any sort of a dogma at this point in my life. Basically right now, all I'm trying to do is maintain my weight. I'm doing a paleo diet right now. So I could have said, oh, the paleo diet cured my gum disease. So I guess what I'm trying to say here, guys, is, is that I have no pony in this race. And um, I just think that it's important to get just correct information out and to uh, share really um, to share honest testimonials and I really want to know for the people that are still doing carnivore diet right now I would like to know have you seen an improvement in your gums do you notice an improvement in your teeth if you have had gum disease um, I would like to know has it improved has it been cured please um, I would love to know in your in my comments please doc please mention it in my comments i'd really like to know so i guess that's all i have to say guys i don't want to make this video any longer um thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for giving me 12,000 subscribers please do me a favor though and help me to get to my new goal of 20,000 subscribers please subscribe please share these videos please your, ask your friends to subscribe to my channel and um, I want to let you guys know that I love you all so very much. And uh, stay happy and healthy. Bye for now. Bye. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. And I want all of you guys to stay happy and healthy. Bye.